Welcome learners to Form 3 Mathematics. Uh, today I'd like to, uh, to revise with you about logarithms, logarithms, Form 3 work. So let us look at this example. You are told solve the equation 2 plus log 3 to base 2 plus log y to base 2 is equals to log 5 to base 2 plus 1 learner. If you look at this equation learner, we have a 2 here and we have a 1 here. Those ones are not expressed in terms of logs. The others have logs. They are expressed in terms of logs. So we need to express this term and this term in terms of log. So learner, how do you go about this? How do you introduce log here and here, learner? So what you do is this. You look at the base. These are logs to base 2. Logs to base 2, learner. Logs to base 2. So you introduce a log to base 2 here, to base 2 here. So how do you write that? You come and talk of this. You write 2. You want to replace log with 2. You write it. Then you write log to base 2. You write your base 2 here. Look at that. Of 2. Why do I write that? Log to base 2 of 2. I'm going to explain briefly here. So let me explain here. Why do I write log 2 to base 2? Because log 2 to base 2 learn. Log 2 to base 2 is 1. How do I get? Uh, okay, it is 1. And if you came and said 1 times 2 here, 1 times 2 learn, you'd go back to this. So log 2 to base 2 is 1. Maybe I can explain. Why, why 1? What do we mean by 1? This is what? When you talk about logarithm learner, logarithm simply refers to a power. A power. Power when 2 is expressed to base 2. Or I can write it this way. If you wrote 2, this 2 here, it, and then you express it to base 2, which is here, what power would it be? If you had 2, this one here, you, it, uh, you express it to base 2, what power would you put here? It is 1. And therefore, that is why we talk of log 2 to base 2 is 1. The power when 2 is expressed to base 2 is 1. That is why I've decided to express this, uh, to write here log 2 to base 2, which is 1. 1 times this goes back to that. I hope it is clear. So plus log 3 to base 2 plus log y to base 2 is equals to log 5, sorry, to base 2 plus 1. Again, you introduce log 2 to base 2 here. So you just look at the base. The base is the one that guides you on what log to put. So this is to base 2, to base 2, to base 2. So you talk of log 2 to base 2 there, log 2 to base 2. Okay, from the Alana, take this up here according to another law of logarithm. This number is the same as the power of this. This one here comes here as a power. So what do I write now? I write it as log 2 to power 2 there and to base 2. And then I write the others. Log 3 to base 2 plus log y lana to base 2 is equals to log 5 to base 2. This one I take it there. It will be plus log 2 to power 1 to base 2 there. So we simplify this learner. Log 2, uh, sorry, log 2 squared is 4. You write base 2 there. Log 3 to base 2. Log y to base 2 is equals to log 5 to base 2 plus log 2 to this one is 2 to base 2. Good. From the learner, you look at this left hand side. This left hand side of our equation, it has log 4 to base 2 plus log 3 to base 2 plus log y to base 2. According to laws of logarithms, learner, we talk of log, all this is equals to log. If it is addition here, if the logs are added, you multiply these numbers. 
If the nodes are added, you multiply the number. So we write 4 times 3 times y, okay, to base 2, according to the first law of logarithm. If logs are added, it's the same as writing one log, then you multiply these 3 with the 3 there. So there we are. On this other side, you do the same. Log 5 plus log 2, they are being added. So you write log, then you multiply these two, 5 times 2, like that. Okay, and it is to base 2. Then you talk of log of what, Lana? This is 12, 12y. Log 12y to base 2 is equals to log 10 to base 2, Lana. Ignore the logs to base 2. Ignore the logs now. You end up with 12y is equals to 10. Drop out the logs. And therefore, divide by 12, divide by 12, Lana. That cancels out. And therefore, y is equals to what? Simplify this by 5, uh, sorry, by 2, 5, by 2, 6. So your y, Lana, is 5 over 6. I hope you've got the point there. So learn, go through this example slowly as you internalize, as you internalize. Then come and try out these uh, equations, logarithmic equations, learn. Come and try out these logarithmic equations. Solve them and I've even given you the answers, learn. Work it out, work it out and check whether you have, you'll get the answers. I wish you all the best, Lana, as you practice on logarithms. God bless you and remember, Lana, to subscribe. I'm always grateful for following. Thank you so much. God bless you.